Okay, guys, we got Cedric Dort, and we'll start with Josh Moore. There, there was a point there in the game. I, I don't. Some people on Twitter were speculating you were faking an injury to get a a, a, a review going there, but it looked like you know you limped off there. I guess, what happened? I, I think you did come back in the game, but. Uh, I, I felt I felt kind of dehydrated. Uh, I knew it was a a, um, a serious red zone type of drive, so I didn't really want to put my team in um, in a bad predicament when I know uh, you know there's, there's other corners that uh, everybody can play. So I kind of felt my my calf tightening up and things like that, and I just I just felt that I didn't want to really try to force it. You know, you don't really want to force no injuries. Anything can happen in a critical game like that. So I just just decided just to hold it and tell the trainers to come get me. Go ahead, Josh. What's practice been like this week? Uh, the other guys have talked about, you know, focusing and, and kind of refocusing. But after you, you know, on one hand, you all are out there a lot and you kind of get worn down. But you still, you know, you only hold the – you hold them to 20 points. It's not like you necessarily were awful, but just – how do you take what happened last week and turn it into, you know, a positive this week? Uh, for us, we just want to be a consistent defense because we always talk about being the number one defense in the SEC and the nation. So um, we don't really expect to really try to put all the pressure on the offense. So we want, we really want to make the offense um, job more easy. Uh, we just trying to be more consistent out there. We trying to be more focused. Uh, making sure we more dialed in. It's another critical East game we got to win. So, and hopefully this game can get us started going for a streak. Hey, Nick Roush. I don't think anybody expected you all to keep getting five interceptions a game, but is, is there anything you can do to, to start creating turnovers and helping the, the offense a little bit when they're struggling? Uh, just being in position, um, one, like, like I said, uh, consistency. Um, Mizzou game, I feel like we wasn't really consistent in a in a in a, a couple of our zone coverages and knowing what's going on, um, like third and medium, third and short and stuff like that. So you, you get interceptions by always just being in the right place at the right time and, and knowing what's gonna go on at that time. So uh that's what we've been more consistent on in practice. So we go try to really get more turnovers just like the other two weeks. Thanks. Josh Moore. Yeah, kind of following up on what Nick asked, it, it is, you know, I mean, in some ways it's as simple as when you guys create turnovers, you win. Uh, but is that something you're aware of and that's being stressed from from Coach Clink and, and Coach Buffano and, and Coach White and all those guys? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, we know us getting turnovers, you know, that creates a, a, a wave on, on the game. You know, it helps it helps our offense get better field position. You know, us not getting off the field, that don't that don't help the offense starting the ball off inside the 20. So, I mean, that's hard for any offense in the SEC, to be honest. And just creating turnovers, you know, it, just, it gets, gets your team hype, gets your defense hype, get everybody create confidence. And little do people know when a, when a defense get a turnover, that also gives the offense confidence to the next time they step on the field. Okay, anything else for Cedric? All right, thank you guys so much. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.